Hi everyone, um, my name is Emily Hancock and the healthcare topic I chose to talk about today is seatbelt use because I think that it is a major um, thing that needs to be addressed. Seatbelt use is important and I feel as though it is something that is not taken as seriously as it should be. Um, seatbelts are an incredible invention that is used to save lives and help prevent tragedies. The CDC stated that seatbelts reduce the risk of death by 45%, which is huge, and it also decreases the risk of major injuries by 50%. They also say that car crashes are the leading cause of death in people under the age of 30, um, which could increasingly be prevented by the use of seatbelts. Of course, it is not certain, and there are many cases that casualties have occurred while they were still using seatbelts, however, um, but it has saved so many lives, thousands of lives, and has helped lower these statistics tremendously. I find it very confusing as to why people will not use something that will help save their life, that was invented to help save their life, and is there for their disposal. How, but, you know, people take risks every day, and I think that the biggest one is getting into a car without a seatbelt, um, and, you know, with, and without using something that is specifically there to protect them. The CDC claims that over half of the people killed in car crashes were not wearing a seatbelt. If you wore a seatbelt, or if they were wearing seatbelts, many of their lives could have been saved because wearing a seatbelt is the most effective way to prevent a death due to a car crash. Thankfully, seatbelt use has increased over the years um, thanks to, you know, all the different laws, regulations, and the education about the safety of its usage. Um, years ago, many people never even used seatbelts. You know, most cars didn't even come with them. Um, however, you know, people soon realized that something had to be done and that they needed something in the cars to help prevent all these deaths. Um, you know, but still about one out of every seven people still don't use a seatbelt while they're in the car, um, says the CDC. The Children's Hospital of Philadelphia reported that teens are the least likely to use a seatbelt, which to me is frightening because I know that, you know, teenagers are usually the most reckless drivers. Um, I think stricter laws need to be put into place and we need to have better education for younger drivers um, that could be used to help enforce seatbelt use. Education on the topic should be enforced in schools and enforced much more in driver's ed training than it is. Also, there should be stricter punishments in place for not wearing seatbelts or not using them. It is sad that laws and consequences have to be put into place to force people to use something to save their own lives. You know, you would think that they would want to. Um, you know, you'd think they would want to wear the seatbelt to help increase their chance of survival if a car crash was to occur. However, many people would prefer not to wear one. I just think that seatbelt use is so important and it is a major healthcare topic of interest that needs to be addressed and needs to be, um, you know, other things need to be put into place to fix it.